What is up, yo? We are going to be rolling up into some Elder Sign in this one. Part of my uh, solo Smackdown series, Will I Win? I don't know. You have to watch and see. Anyway, Elder Sign is a fully cooperative, um, awesome, fun little game that is in the world of Arkham Horror and more modern game Eldritch Horror. Now, some people say that it's like Arkham Horror Light or Eldritch Horror Light. Um, I don't really find that at all. I don't, I don't agree with that because to me, these are this is a completely different game. This game is not nearly as complex as those games. This is more of like a really super, um, super dicey, dice rolling sort of Arkham Horror themed Yahtzee like game. <laughs> I mean, it's not nearly as simple as Yahtzee, don't get me wrong, but it, it's nothing like those other games. And um, but it's awesome. It's really fun. Um, again, it's fully cooperative, and um, let, we're gonna roll right into it. I'm not gonna talk too much about the rules because this game, you'll you'll sort of get the flow of it and understand how it works just by watching me play it. So let's let's go up on into it. All right. So I've set the game up. Uh, what you're actually doing in this game is you're controlling these investigators, right? I'm playing solo, but I'm controlling two investigators. So you can picture this sort of like a two-player game or a solo game where you're controlling more people than one. Um, the investigators are going to be going, they have these little icons that, you know, this is Sister Mary right here, Sister Mary. They're gonna be going on to these areas which are called adventures, which are kind of like part of like a picture, a really huge old school museum in Arkham that they're going to get advent, uh, into adventures on. And um, what they're doing there is they're gonna try and complete these tasks by rolling dice. And as you can see, these different tasks have the same symbols as the faces of the dice, right? So you're trying to roll these dice and get through these tasks. You'll see when, it, when we start to play. Um, it's quite simple. Um, and these are other world cards that are very similar to the adventure cards, but they're not out yet. And then you'll see when those come out. We're actually going against the world destroyer this time is called Yogg-Sothoth. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm going to say it, Yogg-Sothoth. Very cool. Um, this game has a lot of different ancient ones in it. This is just one of a stack that we're going to be using. So there's a lot of variability to this game. And a lot of uh, different plays will ac actually seem very, very different because you're playing against a different um, old one or ancient one every time. Uh, there's going to be different actual places coming up with different tasks. And uh, you can use a lot of, there's a lot of different characters. There's a lot of expansions to this game. Um, the, each character every time is going to have a different assortment of items, so it's pretty cool. So anyway, what you do is you lay out six of these adventures, these places, actually right in the beginning. This particular one had this symbol, which you do not like to see this symbol if you're playing this game. It means that this die is locked away and you're not going to be able to use that red die until you defeat this adventure or you succeed against this adventure. Once you do this task against this adventure, you defeat it and then this die becomes unlocked. But right now it is locked. So for instance, uh, we have Daryl Simmons over here. He would normally be able to use a red die, but he can't right now. So we're gonna really, one thing we're gonna wanna do is defeat that adventure. Um, who we have now, we have Daryl Simmons. He's a photographer, man after my own heart. I love photography, so I like this guy. So this is gonna be fun playing him. And he starts off with a, this is a common item. It's not that he has a gun. He has a common item and a unique item. These are the decks right here for a common item and a unique item. The ones I drew for him, the common item actually gives us a yellow die and a red die, which is amazing. It's a Tommy gun. This is like one of the best cards in the game. And for the unique item, I drew the Colt de Ghouls. And that gives you a red die right there. So this is a yellow and a red die, and this is just a red die, which is very powerful right in the beginning. Um, he also has, uh, all of these investigators also have a different amount of, this is sanity and this is stamina. He's got four, six, and then over here, sister Mary has seven, three. He also has a very fantastic special ability that when he rolls a dice, uh, when he, he can change the results of an investigation. These are considered investigations when you see this hourglass. Those are like you're investigating and you're learning things. So he can change a two to a three or um, a one to a two. So he can raise the investigation, you'll see that. Uh, the yellow die actually has 
a four investigation on it. So you can change this from a three into a four, which is really great. And uh, same thing on the red die, this die right here, this actually has a four investigation on it. So that's pretty cool. You'll see what I mean by that when we start playing. Um, so that's a great thing that he can increase his investigation, investigative powers because, you know, he's a photographer, he's taking pictures of all this stuff and therefore he remembers it and he sees different things that other people can't. So his investigation prowess is right up there. Uh, Sister Mary uh, actually gets a common, a unique item and a spell. Now our common item I picked was this whiskey, discard this instead of losing one sanity. So a lot of this game, and if you were ever played Arkham Horror or Eldritch Horror or any of those in this in this world, in this pantheon, uh, with all the uh, ancient ones, there's this just like incredible ancient evil and this feeling of horror and dread and doom going on when you play these games. And this game is no different. You know, you don't want that ancient one to wake up because if the ancient one wakes up, you're probably gonna die. It even says it in the rules, it's very likely. I mean, there's this last pitch battle you know, if the, if the Ancient One wakes up where you're going to have to, uh, you know, battle the Ancient One, but it's a last ditch effort and it's probably not going to work unless you're really, really lucky, right? So most of the time you'll die. So anyway, this, this horror theme kind of percolates through all the, the um, flavor text on all the cards. I'm not going to read all of it, but I'll read a couple just to, so you can see it's a, it's a really cool setting. So what I was trying to say is the whiskey actually helps you to forget about the horrors and the, and the dreadful things that you've seen. So she, you can, uh, instead of taking a sanity loss, you can drink some whiskey. Uh, her unique item was the Necronomicon, which really in this is just a red die, but after using the red die, you gain a clue token. And these are clue tokens right here. They look like little footsteps. So that's really cool. And her spell was a bind monster spell. After rolling, she can discard this to defeat one monster. And that's very, very powerful. So that's great. Um, <clears throat> now the the uh, I'll just show you these. Might as well show you these other guys. These elder signs are what we're gonna have to put down onto Yog Sototh. He needs twelve on him to be able to seal him away. You don't really defeat him because these ancient ones are are you know were around since the beginning of the world and no one can really defeat them. But you seal them away. You seal them out of our world. And it takes twelve elder signs to actually be able to do that. Uh, there's also this doom track here. So when the Doom Track actually, when you put a token on all places on the Doom Track, then he awakens and you do not want that to happen. Um, he or she, uh, I think a he, I think Yogg-Sothoth is a he, I might be wrong about that. I'll put something up that'll describe him. And then um, he also has a special power, right? So when an investigator suffers the penalties of another world card, so these cards, right, when you get when you don't when you don't succeed against one of these they're very much like these adventure cards when you don't succeed and you get this this penalty um you remove the card from the game goes back to the box and um if the old world deck becomes depleted he awakens as well so he awakens if this if you get to the end of the doom track or if um all of these cards are gone actually which is interesting and um if you put tokens on here a lot of different effects tell you to put a token on here this right here, if you put it where there's like a little cultist, nothing happens. If you put it here and it goes from left to right like this, a monster will appear, right? And you'll see that happen, actually. So that's what these Elder Sign tokens are. That's how you win the game. These are clue tokens. They did something kind of cool. A lot of times in these games, these Arkham games, the clue token looks like this, looks like an actual hourglass. Now they did it to where it looks like sort of a footprint, maybe from a boot. These are the Doom Tokens. Like I said, these are what you put on the Doom track of the, the Ancient One. And um, these are Sanity and uh, Stamina Tokens, which you're gonna lose during the game. <laughs> so, like I said, we can kind of just roll up on into the game and you'll figure it out as we go. Uh, only thing I'll say is that there's a clock. After each person's turn, you move this ahead three hours and when the clock strikes midnight, you're gonna put out another uh, mythos card, which are these cards right here, actually. And where did we go here? Okay, there he is. I was looking for uh, Daryl Simmons. Um, now, I didn't say what uh, Sister Mary's special power is. She can ignore the lingering effects of the mythos cards, which are these in here. You'll see that. And also, she ignores locked dice, which is incredible. So see this locked red die? If she had the ability to use a red die like she does right here, it is not locked for her. Just on her turn, that is not locked. So that's great. 
Uh, and also the lingering effects on these cards can be very bad and she just ignores those because she is holy and she doesn't care about the ancient ones. So, and then if you're wondering what these guys are, uh, when I play solo, if there's you're playing more than one character, it's, it's and you might want to do this at home too, folks, it's very easy to lose track. And especially if I kind of leave and come back, it's very difficult to remember what was going on. And even as you're playing the game, this game, this game, I mean, it's not as uh, convoluted or complex as the other games, which by the way, Eldritch Horror, I, I used to love Arkham Horror. I love Eldritch Horror. Boop. And I will um, definitely do a video about Eldritch Horror without a doubt, because I absolutely love that game. Um, but this game is not as you know complicated as those games, but this is also not like an extremely light game. You know, there, there's a lot going on in this game and it's fun. You'll, you'll see it. it gets sort of, especially when, when you start getting monsters out and you, you really, there's a lot of choices to make in this game, which makes it really fun. So you'll see. But anyway, uh, what I do here is I put this little token on here to tell me whose turn it is and in what part of the turn they are. So uh, one thing I did not do during setup was I, I'm supposed to randomize these to see who is the first player. So first player, cool, is going to be Daryl. Uh, I'm going to put this little red guy there. I don't have to show you guys that, but it's his move turn. Okay. Um, oops, excuse me. And you also take out a Mythos card. All right. Horrible monsters. This on top is the immediate effect. On the bottom is a lingering effect. Either add one Doom token to the Doom Track or two monsters appear. So that's an easy choice. Right now I'm going to add a Doom token. And this is how this fills up. And again, if this completely fills up, then Yog Sototh awakens, which you do not want that to happen. All right. So, and that is the immediate effect, lingering effect. The next time the clock strikes midnight, each inven investigator loses... No, gains a clue token. What? All right, the other thing uh, that I forgot to mention is this is called the entrance right here. And there's just, if you go there, now on your turn, what you're going to do is you're going to move, resolve, and then clock, right? So when you uh, move, you're just going to basically take your little character and move them to whichever adventure or other world adventure, if one is out, you want to go to. So you can also move to the entrance, okay? And then once you move, you're going to resolve wherever you are, and that happens with the dice. You'll see how that works. And then the clock moves ahead three hours, just like that, okay? So now, when you go to the entrance, you can do one of these three things. You can receive first aid, which means that you're gonna heal stamina, and, or you heal your, uh, your, your um, sanity, or you can sort of gamble here and roll a die and find out um, what you get, or you can buy a souvenir with the, the currency in the game, which are called trophies. Right? These are all trophies, and the way you get trophies is right here. So if you defeat these adventures, you get a trophy. Also, if you defeat monsters, like this monster right here is actually a cultist, you get a trophy. That's worth one. And many things in the game make you lose trophies. All right, so let's just start. We're going to start with the movement phase of Daryl. Remember, he has a really cool uh, kind of stuff with him. And he is actually... Where is he going to go? Daryl might go here. Right now... So it'd be smart for him, he's in the resolve stage, it'd be smart for him to use one of these to get some extra dice to be able to do this, but um, we actually, but it'd be a little bit of a waste because he would not be able to get a red die from it. See, because this red die is sequestered up here. So he's just gonna try and do this with normal rolls, which like I said, is probably not gonna be, he's probably not gonna be able to do it. So let's see, let's see what he can pull off here. All right, so, um, well, he has a, well, yeah, he didn't do too much here. <laughs> he has a peril, which as you can see, we need, we need one peril, but again, with one roll, we would need two peril, you know, all of this stuff, actually. It's, this is a very, very difficult card to, to, to get done. Um, so if you fail a roll, this is considered a failed roll because it doesn't meet any task on the, on the card that you are on, what you have to do is you have to discard one of the die and then you can roll again and try and try and defeat the task. But there's something else to consider and that's called focusing. Now when you fail a roll and only when you fail a roll, you can't do this on a successful roll, what you could do is you can take one of the dice and put it on your investigator token right here and that's you focusing. So for the rest of this adventure that can stay on there and then you can use it when you need it. So in other words, I'll just show you this. 
he's going to focus this peril because we need two peril and he rolled a peril. He's going to focus that. So now he has that there to use when he needs during this adventure. So he's going to roll again, folks. I've made a huge mistake. Now notice he's only rolling five dice here and uh, he needs four different things. So this is kind of a fool's quest right here, but well, he needs three more things right there. So he's going to try it, see what he gets. Ah, wow. Wait, did he get it? Oh my gosh, I think he did. This is incredible. Look at this, folks. So he got, all right, so if we do it now, he got he got this one right here. He got the peril. He got the lore. And he needs three investigation. And check it out. He puts a two there, but because of his special ability, he gets to make that a three. And there it is, three investigation. Remember, hometown advantage. Daryl may change the result of a die roll once per roll during his turn uh, from one investigation to two to three, blah, 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 right. So, and we, so we got those three, we bring this focus die down and we actually defeated that, which is pretty incredible. I didn't think he was gonna be able to do it. So good for you, Daryl. Daryl. Anyway, so, uh, so now what happens is because he successfully did this adventure right here. We're gonna put these back in the uh, dice pool. This gets to come off, so now we have access to the red die. It doesn't mean we get the red die, just we just have access to it if we have a means to actually get it, which we do. And uh, down here, if you did not uh, defeat this challenge, this is the penalty you would have to pay. You would have to pay two, in two insanity and one um, stamina. Right, but because he defeated this, what's great is that he gets a common item and a spell. So also, so as his character goes back up to the entrance, he also gets this trophy. Right, so he gets to keep this card. It goes right here. Okay, and we pull out another one. All right, a storage closet. There it is. See this arrow? That means we have to do this task, this task, then that task in that order. Okay. So what he gets now is he gets a um, he gets his trophy obviously and he gets a common item and a spell. So common item we're gonna pick. Look at that. He is in good shape. He has a lot of these. Now once you use these, you discard them. This doesn't mean you get all those dice for the rest of the game. Just one time effect. So that's great. And he also gets a spell. Okay. What is this? The voice of Ra. After rolling, discard to change one die to the result of your choice. Wow, that's amazing. So after rolling, you get to discard this and change to anything you want. That is extremely powerful. That is a really fantastic spell. Uh, resolve turn, now we move the clock. And it is very easy to forget to move the clock after everybody's turn. So try to remember that to do that, folks. Um, so okay, we're off to a very, very good start, actually. Now, where is Sister Mary going to go? Let's see here. Well, we need Elder Signs badly. This right here will give you two Elder Signs if we defeat it, right? So I'll just read this one. So there's a picture of, uh, this is in a museum. So you can see that there's like a uh, Stegosaurus bone, something like that maybe. Stay away from the windows. As much as I fear the dark places among the exhibits, I fear the pools of pale moonlight even more. I have learned all too well to stay away from the ornate windows through the museum, throughout the museum. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So let's see where she's gonna go. So that'll give us two, but that, this is a really terrible penalty right here if you don't make it. This means a doom track, get one on the doom track, sanity and a physical loss from stamina. Hmm. And you have to have eight, wow. That's incredible, eight and then two, that is really hard. Yeah, I think she's gonna, she's gonna try and go here. This is gonna be a very difficult task to complete, but she's gonna do it. She's gonna try, all right. So she's also going to use, and you'll see how this works now, she's gonna use this red die. After using this card, you gain a clue token. So that's great, so she's, she discards this, and she gains a clue token, just because that's the nep Necronomicon. With a clue token, you can re-roll one, some, or all of your dice that you rolled. So that clue tokens are very, very important. They're very powerful, I should say. Um, so she gets to roll the red die along with all of her green dice. So let's see what she can come up with. She needs 
they're really, I mean, this, these are, both these tasks are very difficult. See, there's two tasks here. You have one task, you have to get eight investigation, which is really hard for her. And you have to get two of the peril results. So those are really hard, but she does have a clue, which is nice. Uh, well, we got lore, which doesn't help us. We do have apparel. That's pretty nice. So I think this is a failed roll. Um, uh, let's see. Well, three, let's see, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I could use these for the investigation part. Uh, but because it's a failed roll, let's see. Well, and I could, yeah, I think so. What we're going to do here is... No, it's not a failed roll, actually. So mm. you can automate. You can say uh, uh, something is failed. You can say that you failed the roll automatically if you want to. That says that in the rules that you can do that. But this isn't bad. Getting two threes here, six, seven, eight. But it's really hard to roll these too. Uh, she has a clue though. Maybe maybe we'll chance it. Okay. So we're gonna complete this task three, six, seven, eight, just like that. So I'm completing that, and I'm gonna roll the rest of these. So we need two peril, folks. We only got one peril. And this is a failed roll because I don't have the two peril. Unless I actually, um, well, I didn't use my clue token yet. I didn't do a reroll. So now I can do a reroll, right? Because I rolled this. I only have one task to complete. And this lets me reroll as many as I want. So I'm going to keep this one here and I'm going to reroll this. Try and get another peril. And I did not get it. Okay. So now this is what's called a failed roll. And if you fail a roll, you can focus. So I'm gonna focus this peril right there and I'm gonna try and discard this because after you fail a roll, you have to discard. And I'm gonna try and get another peril result. I did not, so I need to discard one and try again. And I did not make it. Okay, so none of this matters. You have to, you have to complete all of it. So this comes off. Focus comes off, and I have to take this damage right here. So that means I take a sanity. I, I could discard that instead of losing sanity, but I'll just take lose one st sanity. She loses two stamina, which is really bad because she has a very powerful, very powerful um, special power. But she has very she's extremely weak. I mean, she's been in the convent all her life. She doesn't have a lot of physical strength. So her stamina is just gone. Now, now, I mean, that one shot, she only has one stamina left. Um, and we add a Doom Token. So this is how this works. Doom Token goes right there. Next Doom Token is going to bring out a monster, which is really bad. Okay, so now we move the clock ahead. Three more hours, ba ba ba, just like that. And, um, geez, it's going to be Daryl Simmons' turn again. So, boy, that was bad. That was really bad. Now. Daryl Simmons, actually, he's in very good shape. He's got a lot of really fantastic items down here. He can probably do this one. Uh, if anybody can, he can. And I think what I'm going to do is he's going to use, um, well, see, what's funny is there's only one peril on, uh, on, on even the yellow and the red die. I should actually say what, what the yellow and the red die do differently. So. This has a one, two, and a three investigation, and a peril, and a lore, and a terror. That's a terror result. The yellow, instead of a one, two, three, has a one, uh, one, two, three, and a four investigation, and it has a peril, and it has a lore, but it does not have a terror. And the red die actually has, what, a two, three, and a four, so good chances of rolling a lot of investigation with this, and it has a lore and a peril, and instead of a um, terror, it has this wild card, and this wild card is awesome. It could either be four investigation, which is great. It could be a peril, it could be a terror, or it could be a lore, so that's great. So the question is, do I want to use this? Well, I think I do, because guess what? You get you get two uh, Elder Signs, so that's awesome. All right, so he's gonna get rid of that, and he's gonna actually get to use all of these dice right here. All right, and actually, sorry, I'm supposed to move him in here. So they're both there at the same time, which can be important. There's a cooperative uh, 
technique that you can use called assisting if you're both on the same spot and maybe we'll maybe we'll see that here let's see what we got all right look at all this so let's see he has one of these which that's those are that's the heart oh actually we have two fantastic all right so we're gonna actually we're gonna right now complete that task so that task is completed now we only need eight of these and um well, he has it right here, but it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that difficult for him to get eight. He can't focus, right, because he only focused on a failed roll. Oh, boy. Look at all this stuff that is an investigation. So we have four right now. So maybe, so this is a failed roll. So maybe he'll focus with the three onto himself right there. He has to get rid of one. And then this isn't as easy as I thought it was now. Let's see. Well, he always has the voice of Raw if he really needs it, so. Let's see. Yeah, you got, an, oh, you got six right here. Okay. So this six plus this three that he focused will finish this card out. So that's great. Okay, so this card is done. Very, very good. Um, they both go onto there. So he gets to take this card as another trophy, bring out another one of these. The archives, okay. And um, wow, he has four trophies already, look at that. And we get two elder signs, all right. Look at that, which is very, very good. All right, move the clock ahead, a couple hours. And now it is Sister Mary. Now, Sister Mary has a problem here because she only has one. She's almost dead, actually. <laughs> um, so she can't, she doesn't really want to do any of these that if she doesn't defeat it is going to take away her any um, stamina. I mean, she could do something like this. She's not very powerful right now, though, because she doesn't have a lot of items. She could defeat a monster. Um... But she can't use a yellow or a red dye for anything. So she would only be able to do something very, very simple. I, I think it's probably gonna be better for me just to send her to get healed. So I think she's gonna do that. I think she's gonna stay in the entrance. Now what she could do here is for, for free, um, she can heal one sanity or one stamina if she pays two trophies, but she doesn't have any trophies. Fully uh, regain either stamina or uh, sanity, or if she pays four trophies, uh, she gets both fully regains both um so yeah i think she's just going to heal one stamina and that'll help out so let's give her one more stamina there we go that's move that's resolve now let's do clock this moves up to 12 and it's going to be this gentleman's turn okay now when that reaches 12 we look on any of these cards to see if there is a midnight effect which there are none here okay uh, any of these cards out might have them, and also the Mythos card. And it does. The next time it strikes midnight, each investigator gains a clue, which is awesome. Clue, clue. Oh, let's put clues on the left of these things right here. There we go. Clue there, clue there. All right, and that's it. Now we're going to go to um, Daryl Simmons. Where is Daryl Simmons going to go? He's going to go to the storage closet. And in the storage closet, I was told the key had been lost, but now the door stood open. Very cool, creepy. Okay, so he's gonna try and resolve this sucker. Now this has an arrow, which means he has to do three, three, and then those two, which is, this is gonna be the hard one right here. He's probably gonna have to use his, his raw, voice of raw for that. Okay, and what he's gonna do is he's also, well, he almost doesn't even need to, let's see, three, three would be pretty easy for him, I think. She gain a card. Mm. You're not gonna believe this, folks, but I'm gonna. No, I better do it. <laughs> I'll just use this yellow one. Uh, so I get a yellow die. Whoops! I'm gonna drop it. All right, let's do this. Oh, he's got the lore. That's kind of cool. I can make that a failed roll and just hold on to that lore if I wanted to. Um, 
Okay. Well, he can change a two into a three, so I guess he's gonna do that. And now he has that one done. Next roll. He's gonna need another three. Yep, and he has that. Actually, he's got the lore. Isn't there? Oh, he's got two lore. It's just it's too bad we can't do that one because, uh, hmm. Yeah, well, I'll be fair, and I'll put the three up here. Okay, now he's gonna keep going, and he needs two lore. He got one. Okay, that's the, that's actually good. So this is actually a failed roll because it does not um, complete the task, but I mean, he could actually complete it by using the voice of Ra, but he's not gonna do that yet. What he's gonna do is he's gonna discard one die and he's gonna focus that. So now with these three dice, he needs to each have a one in six chance of rolling a lore. And he doesn't get it, so he's gonna discard one, try again. And he got it. Fantastic. <laughs> Trying to sound like my friend Johan from, uh, he's a lonesome gamer. Hello friends, you're with 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 a lonesome gamer. Uh, I'll put a, a, a link but uh, he's one of my favorite uh, gameographers. All right, so with this lore and that lore, bada bing, bada boom, we got it. So this is done. Very good. Goes back up here, he gets another trophy. Bam, look at that. And he gets a clue, which is very awesome. Now he has two clues. And we bring out another, whoop, actually first we're gonna bring, we're gonna put that one out. Wow, we're not getting a lot of midnight effects. That's great. But we also bring out a other world, Relay. Relia? No, Relia. The island had risen from the ocean, and I, fool that I was, decided to explore it. Never have I regretted a course of action so greatly in my life. Ha! <laughs> Sounds like my last marriage. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I haven't been married. So, wow, look what this gives you if you pull it off, man. It gives you a, this right here symbolizes that you are going to be getting a, um, an ally. And what's great about the allies is they stay with you. They don't go away like everything else. And three Elder Signs. Uh, if you mess up, there's heavy penalty. But look at how hard this is. I mean, look at this. It's basically on one roll, you have to get a hold of this stuff. That's just, that's very difficult. So anyway, Otherworld Adventure. Maybe I'll actually... Put this down here so it's uh, closer. Okay, so uh, and also gets he also gets a uh, unique item which is awesome. Hopefully it's yep. Look at that, an alien statue which gives him another red. Fantastic. Move the clock ahead. And um, oh, I forgot to do something. You know what? I'm sorry, I completely forgot to... You're supposed to, when the clock struck, which I guess was after her turn, I was supposed to pick another Mythos card. Mythos card. Um, yeah. So we'll see if this would have affected anything. Uh, no, add one Doom token to the Doom track. And there is no lingering effect today. Wow, that's fantastic. Add one Doom token. All right, so that's fine. That worked out great. So while adding a Doom to the Doom track, so what that does right now is I would have had to add a monster somewhere. Ooh, this looks like a bad one. Oh yeah, Shogoth. I remember these. It's oozing mass enveloped some exhibits and crushed others in its tentacles. Look at that crazy Shogoth. This is really hard. So, so basically what this means is you need to roll these. And if you do defeat this, you lose a sanity just because it's so incredibly creepy and repulsive. So um, I would not have put this on here to make this more difficult for sure. So when you add, when you add a monster, see these sort of, they look like a white filament that is around certain uh, parts of certain tasks. Those are where you can add monsters. 
So now I can add this monster right here and it would actually cover over this, this task. So instead of doing that task, you would do this task. Uh, same thing here, I would cover that over, cover this over. There's areas where you can put an entire monster, but I don't have any right now. So, hmm, Terra lose one second. I don't want to, it's kind of, there's a lot of strategy involved on where you put these monsters, actually. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but you also have to kind of spread them out evenly. Um, see, now this right here, notice how there is a place for a monster here, but not there. That means I would put this here, just covering the monster part. So this task would involve all of this. So instead of something very easy with the one investigation, it becomes harder, which I definitely don't want to do that. And I think I'm going to put them here because I don't really know if I'm going to try and go for that one anyway. Um, okay, so uh, that's that was what was supposed to happen before um, his turn, I believe. All right, now it's Sister Mary. Um, I think what she's going to do, this is kind of crazy, but I think she's going to try and go into the gift shop, this creepy gift shop guy. There's a monster right here that's kind of hard to defeat, but she's going to try and do it. She doesn't have any extra stuff. So she's just going to roll just a normal green dice. She does have a clue. So that's good. Let's see what she gets here. No terror effect. I'll show you a terror effect when that comes out. Um, she got a lore now. Why are those lore so hard to roll when you want them? No, she didn't do much here. Well, yeah, she can't do anything because she doesn't. So that's a failed roll for her. I guess she will. Um, sh I mean, it's a failed roll, so she's gonna discard a card. I'm sorry, discard one. She's gonna hold on to this three right here. And she's actually going to, it says, after rolling, discard to defeat one monster. So she's going to discard this, and it defeats this monster. So she's going to get, she gets two points, but it's interesting, since she defeated it, with a card. I wonder if she has to do that. I think she does, but I'll just get rid of this whiskey. She's going to drink some whiskey really quick. So instead of losing one sanity, which is exactly what that does. So <clears throat> that is now just a trophy for her right there. Very good. But now look what that did. It unearthed this right here that she has to, she has to do. So I guess, I don't know, it's kind of weird now. Can she do this right away? I mean, I don't know. It's funny timing. I guess it really doesn't matter. So, but anyway, she can roll this again. And she needs three. She's gonna lure. Wow. Oh wow. She actually got the lure, so that's great. So she can use this lure and this one that she right there. So that's those. So now she just needs to roll three. Ah, oh, she didn't get it. She's got a one. Damn it. No, well, she's going to spend her... This is how you do this. She's going to spend her little um, clue token and re-roll these. She could re-roll that, too, since that's just a one, but I don't know if that would be wise. And she got it! Alright, look at that. So now she completed this task as well. Defeated a monster. Look at that. Good going, Mare. All right, this is done. Bam. I mean, it doesn't do much, to be honest. It gives her one. It wasn't that difficult of one. But the cool thing that it does, though, is it gives her... Um, it, it also gives her a unique item, which is very cool. So, yep, and that's a red. So that's great. Okay, she's much more powerful now. Um, bring this next one out. It has a terror effect, but it does not have a midnight effect, which is very nice. The terror effects, actually, you have to... They kick off when you roll a terror, just like that. When you, when you, uh, on a failed roll, when you roll terror. So that's interesting. Look at all the stuff that happens when you, when you defeat that one, wow. Okay, so now we move the clock. And it's over to Daryl Simmons.
Bell Simmons is still in very, very good shape. He can actually use a red dye and also can make any, create basically any, any dye he wants. Uh, let's see what he's gonna do. Um, I mean, he can he can use the voice of Ra to create one of these, but he'd still have to roll all three of these with still getting rid of two of these. Hmm. He's going to go for it. He probably shouldn't, but he is going to. So he's going here to the other world. He's going to try and go for this, folks. He's got a couple clues on him, so he's definitely getting rid of a red to get that red dye. Number four. <laughs> get it like food dye. And uh, what else does he have going on here? Um, well, I guess that's it. I guess that's all the tricks up his sleeve. Uh, let's see what he can get. Maybe he can, maybe he can do that bottom pass all, all at one time. Oh wow, look at this. Well now. So this is this is what I was telling you. This is the wild, which is really fantastic. You know what? That's kind of interesting. I wonder... No, he's not. Let's see. There's no terror effect, so that's good. So could do this situation where this would be the terror, this would be that. He could change one of these to that, but it still wouldn't be enough. Hmm. Yeah, he just rolled too much damn investigation. Uh, yeah. Well, he'll just do this, I guess. And there's this two investigation right there. I wonder why that's in... Oh, it's in two different spots, right? Just because of the monster thing, but that's two. Um... All right, now he's going to roll again, see what he can get. Well, I mean, he should really keep this one, but he, he can't actually because he doesn't have a spell. I think instead of doing this, I think he's not going to do that, folks. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a clue. I'm going to use a clue token right now. And what I'm going to do with that, since I have this terror, which I need, and I have this, which could be whatever. I have a terror, and I have... I don't have, yeah. I'm just gonna re-roll these guys to see if I can get either, well, let's see what I can get. Uh, well, is that, is that gonna work? Yeah, I think this is gonna work, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we got a terror, we got a peril. This can act as a lore, and what I could do is I can use my voice of Ra. After rolling discard to change one die to the result of your choice, which I'll change this to a lore, right there. So that's that task done, bam. Get rid of my voice of Ra. Voice of Razen. So that's fantastic. Okay, so now all I need to do is come up with two, remember, you, I, even though I have the two there, I cannot, you can't do two tasks with one roll, so Let's see. So this is actually very easy for him. Shouldn't have said that. Gonna get rid of one. All I have to do is roll one. Yeah, I got two investigation. That's not a problem right there. Bam. So fantastic. These are actually, this is done. Wow, imagine that is pretty damn incredible. That's, that's amazing that that happened. All right. Pretty cool, folks. So, yeah, this extra, that red die is pretty powerful. Okay, so this all goes back to our dice pool. Um, it's a good thing, too, because remember, Yog Sothoth has a pretty terrible situation going on with that. All right, he's going to go back up to the entrance. He gets two more. Look at that. Jeez, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's amazing. You can get rid of ten here and get an Elder Sign, which is pretty cool. Probably not worth it. Um, okay, so that's done. We don't pick out another one of these now because that other world that we just leave that like that. So he gets three Elder Signs, which is awesome. So it looks like we already have one, two, three, four, five. We need 12 to win the game. Okay, so uh, we also get an ally which is awesome. Ruby Standish. Now she's old school from all the way back in Arkham Harm, I believe. 
Place two unique items on Ruby Standish when she joins you. You may use these items as if they were your own. Discard this card when you have used all unique items on it. Huh. Place two unique items on her. When she joins you, you may use these items if you're... That's... Huh. I don't really understand that. I mean, I know what you're supposed to do here. I'm supposed to take these two unique items and put them on her. So what do we got here? Ooh, Sword of Glory. That's awesome. Yellow and red. <clears throat> Healing Stone. Before rolling, discard to fully restore your stamina and sanity. Wow. The thing that I don't understand is why I even need Ruby Standish to be there anymore. Why aren't these just like two of my unique items, just like this thing? Because when these go away, I get rid of her. So why not just get rid of her right now? I don't know. That's weird. Uh, leave me a comment if actually, um, if you understand that better than I do. I mean, I think I'm doing this right. Just put it there and, <clears throat> I don't know, that's weird. All right. So anyway, put the clock at. Zoop. You know, I, I can't really find much information on her. So I, again, you know, if you know, leave me a comment. Let me know if, um, if I'm doing that wrong. I don't know. It seems right to me, but it just seems also weird. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we're going to move with... The young lady sister, Mary. Where is she right now? She's up there. I wonder if she should... Hmm. See, the problem that there is right now is there's only one more elder sign we can get right here. We have... Uh, we have five on yog Toth, and we need 12, so... And the problem also is she has no clues, but she has a red die. So if she can... If she could actually do this one, although this would make a monster come out. But we'd get a clue, we'd get an elder, this this would be great, this koi pond. Let's see what this koi pond is about, because koi ponds must be a joyous thing. They're wonderful and they're beautiful, so this is probably just a wonderful, beautiful, nice, relaxing, serene koi pond. Let's see. The golden fish were barely visible through the murky water. Then I saw other, larger shapes moving beneath the surface. Wow, <laughs> look at that. Again, this artwork is just so great. It's it's creepy. When you first look at it, you might think, oh, no big deal, you know, and then when you start looking at it, you're like, oh, what is that? So it's pretty rad. I mean, I like this the, this whole entire, you know, Arkham Horror situation is just awesome. Um, okay, so, but we would need two terror, one terror, and then a terror and two peril. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not easy. That's pretty hard, actually, but I, th and she would lose a sanity no, see that two, see the two um, stamina, she only has two stamina. So she only starts with three actually. So she's always looking for her stamina. That's the problem with, with Sister Mary. Like I said, she's very meek. Great powers though. Uh, what can she get with three trophies? A unique item, hmm, that's pretty good. Uh, she could heal, she could stay there and heal right now. That's gonna make midnight happen. Um. I think what she's going to do, this sounds kind of crazy, but I think she's actually going to go here to the ancient relics, right there. She's going to try and do this one, which is not easy for her, but she's got a red die, okay? And there's a terror result here, so if you roll terror on a losing roll, you lose one sanity. But she has quite a lot of sanity, and this is going to allow her, if she does, if a miracle happens and she gets this, she's going to get a spell which she desperately needs, so... I think she's going to try that one. So she gets the red die, which is good for um, investigation, which she has right there. So <clears throat> my chair over. So it looks like we need lore and, a, and investigation. And here we go. We're in the resolve. Okay. And we got the peril, but not the lore. So that's kind of a bummer right there. Well, I could say this is lore, actually, if I wanted to. And, um,. We need lore in three, so let's see. It's just hard to roll that lore, man. Um, I want to do this. Well, I got lore in three right here. We'll just do that. Why not? We just hope that we're going to get another lore. So completed that one. I do not have any clues. So here we go again for lore in three. Lore so difficult. Oh my gosh, there's terror. Was there a terror last time? There might have been a terror. I didn't check that. Hold on one second. You know what? I looked back and there actually was a, uh, a terror in the last one. So, uh, and 
Oh, you know what? But it doesn't matter because it wasn't a losing roll. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was actually, if you only get the terror result on a losing roll, right? On a failed roll. Now it's a successful roll. So now this terror does affect her and she loses one sanity. So two back over there. All right. And I don't think I can, I mean, I guess what would be smart is just for me to save. I don't know. It's pretty easy to roll those though. It's really hard to get a lore. This is, an, this is a very interesting situation right here. So right now, because this is a failed roll, right, I'm going to have to get rid of a die, okay? Now, out of these dies, I could take this three and um, focus it right there. So I'll have that three, right? But the problem is, if I do that, I'm, bas I'm getting rid of one die, which has one lore face on it. Right? So obviously with four dice, it's easier, me, it's easier for me to roll a lore than with three dice, okay? But if I, if I don't t uh, save this, uh, it's also that I'm gonna have to roll a lore and then, you know, a, a, a two and a one, you know, or a three and anything. So I don't know, what's worse, you know? Jeez. I mean, I'm already getting, I'm, I'm gonna discard that one, I guess. So do I want to focus that? I just hope that I get a lore. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to focus this three. That might not be, again, leave me a comment if that's dumb. <laughs> you mathematicians out there, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to try and just get, all I need now is a lore. And I got it. All right, check that out, two lore. Wow, so very cool. All right, so I guess if that was a dumb move, I just won by dumb luck right there. So I completed this, which is fantastic, okay. Uh, she goes back up here, so she gets this trophy. So it stays under here. So that's great. Pull another one out. Hopefully it doesn't have a midnight effect, and it doesn't. We haven't gotten a lot of midnight effects. I'm really glad about that. Got some terror. Okay, uh, and she also gets, check this out, a spell. And I was hoping it was one of the spells that secured a die. Discard to draw one other world card and place it below the six adventure cards, yeah. All right, well, that's cool. Discard to draw other world, yeah. Um, all right, so she found a gate, that's cool. And then, um, well, at least she got <coughs> that, which is awesome. And she's actually gonna do this. She's going to discard this spell and open a gate up, which I'm not gonna open below because there's no room. And it is the abyss. In the darkness between worlds, between dimensions, it was there that my quest nearly ended. Horrid things of nightmare clutched at me, unseen since they thankfully shied away from my lantern. Look at that, that's the abyss. Okay, so this is a pretty harsh punishment, but check it out, you get an elder sign, doom track, unique item, and a uh, spell, which is awesome. So that's great. So especially if you have some way of, you know, if you have a spell, this this is a lot, you know, a lot easier to do. So that's it's doable. Uh, I don't know. So let's see, what did she get? She got her, yep. Okay, she got her spell and spent it and she got her uh, clue. So it's always good to have clues. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna move the clock. And clock strikes 12. I don't think we have any midnight situation here. It would say it like on these cards, it's a midnight effect, not, not here, sometimes they're on the other world cards. And there's no midnight effect here either. So we're gonna flip a new one over. Add one doom to the doom track, all right. Again with the fiddly old doom track. So it goes here, so that's kind of cool. So no, no monster, I'm not covering over monster. And then the lingering effect, investigators may ignore order arrows on adventure cards. Well, that's actually a good thing. Awesome. So we don't have to do that in any order. So that really helps out. That's great. And it's an elder sign one too. Killer. All right, cool. 